Hello and welcome to this Galcom training presentation on how to turn it to a 6K switch. Okay, so we will need to have a some kind of Telnet uh, software. Now we can use Hyperterm or we can use Putty, uh, but what we can't use is the uh, command line from Windows if we have a newer version of the Windows operating system. And the reason being is that if we open up the command, the DOS prompt in Windows Vista or Windows X. Windows uh, 7 and we type in Telnet and try and Telnet to a particular device the Windows will come back and say, uh, say to us that Telnet is not recognized and the reason being is because Microsoft removed the Telnet feature from the Windows operating systems in Vista and Windows 7 so uh, we need to use something like Hyperterm or Putty. Uh, Putty is always my favorite so we'll open this up and in a previous video on how to use a console connection uh, I mentioned that the switch automatically gets assigned a default IP address of 192.168.1.2 so uh, what we can do is we can use that IP address to uh, telnet to the switch to make the initial setup of the switch so if we type in uh, the connection type we need to select telnet and in the IP address at the top here we just type in the default IP address of the switch which is 192.168.1.2 okay so once that's done uh, again we can save it if we want to but we won't do that now just click open oh bear with me one second okay so that demonstrates uh, one of the problems with using the, uh, the default IP address uh, actually no 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 I will show you uh, another gotcha here so I'm using this uh, my home connection to record uh, some of these videos and the problem is that the uh, my my home router is giving out IP addresses on this network so we have IP address conflicts so this is the IP address by default on the switch and however it's a strong likelihood that that IP address is already being used by somebody else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to as a bit of a revision for you guys if I go to uh, start and type in network and open up the network and sharing center we can go to change adapter settings and in here we have the wireless adapter this is what will be given the uh, IP address in that range so we just need to disable that temporarily okay obviously uh, in order to telnet to the device you will need to have an ethernet connection to the device you will also need to have your IP address if we go back in here the IP address needs to be on the same network as the uh, device itself so for example the um, the switch gets given a default IP address of 192.168.1.2 so you need to be on the network 192.168.1. something not dot 1.2 but something unique between 1 and 254 so I like to use 1.100 so you need to be on the same network in order to access the switch so that's how you would change your IP address to make that happen Again, it's another video on how to change the IP addresses online as well. Okay, so let's close down these two windows. Close down this, we don't need this anymore. Let's go back into Putty. Again, Telnet 192.168.1.2 and open up that connection. And here we are. So, uh, so we, don't ever have, we don't actually have to use the console port if we want to set the switch up for a default configuration. Uh, straight out of the box we can take it and we can use the default IP address using Telnet, using the web GUI which we'll talk about in the next video uh, just to log in and make those changes. So let's do that now, so let's go to Manager um, Manager, and let's assign the switch uh, an IP address so uh, we're going to use the command ipconfig just like you would on the DOS prompt in Windows to see your IP address settings, ipconfig and if you want to know how a particular command is structured you just type in the command to start with and then follow it by a question mark and it gives you some help on what the command does and also how the command is structured 
Okay, so this one here we type in IP config, and then it's asking for the IP address. So we're going to give an IP address of uh, 192.168.1.1 and press return. Now, do you notice what happened? How the the connection just terminated? The reason is because we were connecting to the IP address. 192.168.1.2 initially but we've just changed it to a different IP address so we've now uh, we now need to reconnect to the IP address we changed it to and there we are we're back in again so if we log back in manager and then manager and if we go show IP config we can see that the IP address has been changed to that if you don't specify a mask, it gives you the default mask. So once we've uh, made these changes, we want to save these changes, and we would do that by just typing in save. Let's return. Now if the switch loses power, those changes will be made permanent, and it gives us an update that has been done. Okay, so that's how to use Putty to turn it to a switch. If we want to use Hyperterm to do the same, Open up Hyperterm, type in the connection, just give it some default name, I always put full stop in there. Uh, type in the IP address 192.168.1.1, remember we just changed it to 1.1, click OK, and up comes the uh, command prompt. And now we are telnetted to the uh, switch to get access to the command line interface, the CLI. And that's how to telnet to a, uh, a switch. And I hope this has been interesting, and on behalf of uh, Garrettcom, I would like to thank you for your time, and goodbye.